okay first thing is that the next session is file stream the file stream is actually a new feature it was not there in earlier version uh, like my sql server microsoft sql server 8 or uh, 10 12 i think it was introduced uh, uh, somewhere in 2014 version if i'm not wrong and you go to first is you need to check the setting whether it is enabled or disabled whether file stream data is allowed or not so right click on that go to the properties the way we discussed in the morning for example there's another feature today which will contain the databases we have a session on this by default you see that it is false it is not allowed so you have to enable it so we'll discuss that similarly file stream access level right now it is disabled so you need to enable it the first is it is full access enabled or transact uh, SQL access enabled. So you can enable full access because without this access, without this, you will not be able to create a file stream. What is file stream actually? Is uh, What is the concept all about? What are the benefits? What are the overheads and advantages, disadvantages, use cases? We need to understand the file stream concept. And that is a unique concept in Microsoft SQL Server 2019. We are starting with this right now. I just uh, under the properties under advanced. I just enabled it full access enabled. It may require you to restart. Yes, we need to restart the service. Let's go and restart the service as well. Go to the properties configuration manager, Microsoft SQL Server configuration manager, run it and restart the service. Fine. So we are restarting the service because I just enabled one more feature which was not earlier available which was disabled so now once this feature is enabled the service restarted session 7 file stream what is file stream when to use it what is the storage the management security integrated management integrated security accessing binary large object data though in the agenda if you see there was one word written file stream but i have included a comprehensive session on it so that uh, you have a good understanding of file stream accessing blob data with the transact sql and file system streaming access then we have transact sql tsql access file system streaming access recommendations and guidelines for performance create a file stream enabled database removing a file stream container what is this all about what is uh, this file stream okay let's start file stream enables sql server based applications to store unstructured data that is uh, no sql or not only sql just as we have uh, this data structures no sql data in mysql and I'm sure we have unstructured data in Oracle as well. In Microsoft SQL Server, we handle this using file stream, which include documents and images on the file system. File system, file stream integrates the SQL Server database engine with NTFS or REFS file systems by storing where binary large object blob data as file on the file system uh, i remember i recorrect this line with my original learning of a dbase 3 plus and fox base there was a data type in those uh, databases that was memo m e m o and that used to have uh, pointers in the database table we used to store only the pointers uh, uh, and uh, the size was 10 bytes it used to have a 10 byte length and that 10 byte will specify the name or the pointer to the actual file, which actually can have a large data in the form of image or document. Similarly, we have same concept in other file system as well, where the data is actually stored somewhere else, but the pointer to the data is stored in the file system, in the table. TSQL statements can insert, update, query, search, and backup the file stream data. So we have TSQL statements to manage the data as you know the way you are doing with the normal data and tables. It uses anti-system cache for caching the file data. The SQL Server buffer pool is not used in this case. Therefore, the memory is available for query processing. File stream is not automatically enabled as you have seen 
initially i demonstrated that it was disabled by default you must enable file stream by using uh, configuration manager and sql server management studio you must create or modify a database to contain a special type of file group which is for file stream so sequence wise first you need to enable it and then you need to tell the database also that uh, i am going to have file stream data in my database or unstructured data in my database then after you perform these two steps you create or modify a table so that it can contain your where binary or max or column with the file stream attribute means the actual use so three step process use cases are self explanatory now you know that because that is it you can use it where you have to store the objects that are being stored are on average larger than 1 mb huge size fast read access is important uh, fast read access in fact uh, what is recommended is the nvme storage and ssd storage those who have worked with the storage i recommend that you create a separate storage if it is allowed you can check that block storage and vme type storage you can create that and attach it but in uh, we have to see that whether enemy storage is allowed and the block level access uh, block storage is access accessible and allowed or not but recommended is that yes in production scenario we use nvme and ssd storage for file stream because fast read access is important for this and we can't rely on the disk with the uh, platters you are developing application that use middle tier of application for application logic and these are use cases the storage file stream storage is implemented as a where binary column in which data is stored as binary large object in the file system the size of this are limited only by the volume size of the file system because file can grow to any size to specify that a column should store the data on the file system specify the file stream attribute on the where binary column this causes the database engine to store all data for that column on the file system but not in the database file so you specify a location you specify a path where the data of this column will go file stream data must be stored in file stream file group a file stream file group is a special file group that contains the file system directories instead of uh, the file themselves these file system directories are called data containers the data containers are interface between the direct database engine storage and the file system storage when a table contains file group column or file stream column each row must have a non null unique row id and you will feel i face this music when i was trying to create a uh, you know a table and a database with a file stream column remember simple table definition when i tried it did not work because we must have these concept this important points here each row must have a non null unique row id that has to be there multiple data containers can be added to a file stream group the file stream data containers cannot be nested you cannot have a nesting here when you are using failover clustering the file stream file group must be on shared disk resources and then can be compressed this can be on compressed volume also integrated management most sql server management tools and functions work without modification for file stream data for example you can use all backup and recovery modules with file stream data and the file stream data is backed up with the structured data in your database security in microsoft sql server 2019 this data is secured just like other data is secured by granting permissions at tables or column levels if you use if a user has permission to the file stream column in a table the user can open the associated files otherwise not accessing binary large object data with the transact sql and the file system streaming access accessing it after you store a data in a file stream column you can access the files by using tsql transactions 
or by using Win32 APIs. Using TSQL statements, transact SQL statements. By using TSQL, you can insert, update, and delete. You can use an insert operation to pre populate a file stream field with a null value, empty value, or a relatively short inline data. You update, when you update file stream field, you modify the underlying blob data in the file system. When the file stream field is set to null, the blob data associated with the field is deleted. When you delete a row or delete or truncate a table that contains file stream data, you delete the underlying data in the file system. If you are using API, Win32 API streaming supports work in context of the SQL Server transaction. Within a transaction, you can use file stream function to obtain the logical UNC file system path of a file. You then use the OpenSQL file stream API to obtain the details of the file or the file handle. This handle can then be used to Win32 by Win32 file streaming interfaces such as read file or write file functions to access. This is a programming approach, programmatic uh, access to the file stream data through API calls. Because file operations are transactional, you cannot delete or rename file stream files through the file system. Recommendations and guidelines. When you have a large number of uh, rows in file stream containers, which are the underlying storage for both file stream column and the file tables. You can end up with file system volume that contain large number of files. Because every column for every record, you will have one file. Imagine millions of records stored with those files. So we'll have millions of files. So that is the reason I was suggesting a separate storage for this to achieve best performance when processing the integrated data from the databases as well as the file system. It is important to ensure the file system is tuned optimally for this. The altitude check for the SQL Server file stream filter driver. These are uh, this can be used. Evaluate all filter drivers loaded for the storage stack associated with the volume where these files are stored and make sure that RSFX driver is located at the bottom of the stack. You can use this FLTMC.exe control program to enumerate the file filter driver of a specific volume. A sample output of this utility which is stored here FLTMC. When you run it, you will see the driver, the number of instances, uh, that uh, altitude and the frame. So my filter, the filters which are created, you can see everything here. The NTFS MFT may become fragmented and that ca can cause performance issues. The MFT reserve size depends on volume size, so you may or may not encounter this. You can check that MFT fragmentation with a defrag command defrag slash A slash V slash, uh, you know, the options and the drive which you are trying to defragment. You can reserve more MFT space by using fsutil behavior using this command ms and that is MFT zone 2. File stream data files should be ex excluded from antivirus software scanning because they may detect uh, this as a virus. How do you create this? How do you enable this? Because file stream uses a special type of file group. When you create the database, you must specify the contains file stream clause for at least one file group. A file group, file stream file group can contain more than one file. In Management Studio, click on New Query to display the query editor. Copy the transaction SQL given in the next code. And for this, the directory C colon slash data must exit and then click on Execute. To verify this example because I'm using this directory. The following code example create a database that is named archive. The database name is archive, create database archive, primary file, file name, file group, and this is what the most important is which column will be used. File group, file streaming group one contains file stream, name is 
a r c h 3 that is architecture 3 file name is this file will be having that data log on where the log will be stored most important for us in this particular case for this particular session is this file group part so that database contains three file groups primary arc 1 and file stream group 1 the primary and arc are regular file groups that contains your files uh, that cannot contain your file group data but file stream group is your file stream group file group let's execute this <clears throat> i first will create the c uh, data in c drive so in c drive data i'm creating a folder let's see now i'm going to execute this so create database archive primary name uh, that is primary location uh, primary file group file file group so this will create the database let's see we should be into master first remember that file uh, feature is disabled i need to disconnect and connect again feature is disabled we need to enable the feature as i told you we need to enable the feature let's connect again because i rest after restart i uh, i forgot i think i did not restart my server but no it is still saying uh, disabled let me see that feature must be enabled so as i said we must enable the file uh, this um, feature file group file access level is okay let's see that uh, we'll verify this operation though because in the lab assignment it is covered for a file stream group file system uh, file name refer to the path the path up to the last folder must exist and the last folder must not exist point to be noted last folder that means in this case c colon slash data must exist however file stream one subfolder cannot exist when you create this uh, create database statement after you run this previous example this file file stream dot hdr file and this fs log folder appears inside this folder this folder should not exist this should exist and these files will be created these folders will be created the file this is a header file for this container removing file stream container even though file stream containers may have emptied been emptied using a dbcc string file we have a session on dbcc commands as well so please hold on for till then the database may still need to maintain references to the deleted files for various system maintenance reasons this stored procedure in microsoft sql server 2019 another version the stored procedure the system stored procedure always start with sp underscore so sp stands for stored procedure file stream forced garbage collection will run the file stream garbage collector to remove these files when it is safe to do so so removing this containers first you need to run the command dbcc shrink table or shrink file with the empty file type option to move the active content of this container to other containers and ensure that the log backup have been taken in the full or bulk log recovery model ensure that replication log header job has been run if relevant and run this stored procedure file stream force garbage collection to force the garbage collector to delete any file that are no longer needed in this container then execute this alter database with remove file option to remove this container and repeat this step number two to four once more to complete the garbage collection and then remove the file to remove this container quite uh, you know repetitive and uh, comprehensive steps we need to follow the sequence otherwise we will get up into get into problems 
that's all for this session thank you very much team